Someone once told me the definition of hell. The last day you have on earth, the person you became meets the person you could have become. There's a show on Netflix right now that people are sleeping on. The show is called Living With Yourself. And in this video, I'm not going to break the whole thing down for you because I want you to watch it. Why? Why should you bother adding another show to your watch list that seems to grow bigger every day? Because most shows don't inspire you to be a better person. I literally had to pause an episode because I was so motivated to live life that I couldn't sit in front of my TV for a minute longer. I'll explain the concept of the show to you and then you can decide for yourself. Sound good? Okay, let's do it. In this show, Paul Rudd portrays a character named Miles who has nothing going right for him. Not the most abstract concept for a show, right? The first episode is an uncomfortable display of his life in a downward spiral. In every area of his life, we see this man fading. It's not that he sucks at everything, it's that he was once great at everything, but now he doesn't care anymore. He's lost the spark that he once had for his job, his relationship, everything. Day by day, he fades into this place of accepting his fate. His fate feels like nothing is going right for him, but in reality, he just stopped trying. It's an interesting perspective to take in, and something a lot of us can relate to. Then he hits what seems to be an all-time low for Miles, and he takes drastic action in a form we all know and fear. Money. He buys into an exclusive spa offer from a colleague that will supposedly change his life. Without spoiling it too much for you, I'll just say that the spa didn't change him. It cloned him. It created a second version of himself that is a better version of himself. A straight up upgrade from the original Miles. The problem is that the original Miles wasn't supposed to survive this process. So now there is two of him. This is the magical lubricant the show uses to help the viewer see both sides of Miles and, in turn, themselves. The second version of Miles is portrayed as the best version of the original Miles. A positive, open-minded go-getter who appreciates the little things in life, but also takes advantage of the big things. In the show, he is portrayed as the better version of Miles, but as the show goes along, we learn that it's really just the version of Miles that he used to be before he stopped trying in life. I'll let you watch the show yourself and witness the drama and the chaos that ensues as they learn to live a double life together. The idea of this show represents the age-old question of who is the best version of you? The show is an existential comedy. You enjoy the media and are entertained by the content, but are in a way forced to look at yourself and think, which version of my life am I living? Am I the tired, burnt out Miles who's allowing myself to fade more and more every day? Or am I the energized and risk-taking version of Miles who appreciates the good in their life and treats every day like a new opportunity? I myself am a very existential thinker, so this show resonated with me very deeply. But whether you're an existential thinker or not, I think the show has a lot to offer everybody. I think it doesn't really matter where you're at in life, everybody needs a wake up call to some degree. Everybody needs a jump start and inspiration. And even if things seem to be going well for you or things don't seem to be going that bad for you, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're living life to the best that you can be. It doesn't mean that you're living it to the fullest and that doesn't mean that you're the best version of yourself. The show acts like a mirror, right? When you're watching the show, it, it kind of forces you to hold a mirror up to yourself and see which version of Miles are you. And that's all I'm gonna say about the show for now. I could have stretched this video out into a long analysis or breakdown of Miles or the plot and fill this video with a bunch of ads, but I genuinely want you to try the show out and see if it can inspire you to be a better person. After all, I can sit here and talk all day, but you might find unique inspiration from the show that I can't explain in words. At least the first two episodes, because the first episode, as I explained earlier, is a bit of the downward spiral, so if you want to see the other side of that and the other side of Miles, you gotta watch the second episode. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you feel like you're fading out of your own life and you're looking to be the best version of yourself and you're not sure what steps to take, send me a message at my Instagram at Exercise, and maybe I can help you out. Klaus next out.